Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new series. Today we're going to be starting playing Layers of Fear. And if you have played the first and second game, it's basically the same thing, but this is more of like a retelling from my understanding. Not entirely sure what they mean by that, but let's go jump right in and we'll both find out. And hopefully, we'll get scared along the way. I once had it all. My palate was sated. Nostrils stimulated. Standing venerated. And one day, you took everything away but shame and pain. I'm still not sure what game you're playing. But I'm back. Taking what's mine. Alrighty. Well, so the graphics on this game, as far as I can tell are pretty amazing. <laughs> that cutscene. Woo! What do we have here? A photo? Who's that? Someone we care about. That's for sure. Usually people don't carry portraits of random people. It made me think of your poem. Oh, my bad. I th What's this? A note? Never tell where it is. Okay, never call by real name. Include the most important facts from the newspaper articles about the scandal. Okay, never tell them where it is. No dates. Mid twenties. All right. So what are we doing? So I have played Layers of Fear, the first one, where you're the artist trying to paint his wife because he was an alcoholic, and of course, alcoholism ruins lives. And depending on the things you found or the things you just skipped over and went straight towards the end without really like searching around, um, you would get the good ending or a bad ending. Unfortunately for me, even though I try to look for everything, I got the bad ending. But eventually, you know, going back and playing it again, I got the good ending. And she had a he had a very beautiful wife, but unfortunately, the fire ruined her face. But um. He became this Dear, oh. congratulations once again on winning our competition. Let us repeat, your submission astonished us, and we are delighted to welcome you in our hermitage. Make yourself at home. The whole lighthouse is at your disposal. Oh, I guess the... Something went wrong from this point on. Okay, a boat will arrive once a week with supplies. And if you need anything, there's a phone on the premises. Wishing you a fruitful and inspirational stay to management. Ah. It's like... I'm, oh, it's locked. I can't open it. Alright, well then. Fooey. Do I have a flashlight? No. No flashlights. But yeah, the first, like I said, uh, alcoholism, his wife got in a fire that destroyed her... Well, scarred her face, really. And after that, he just wasn't in love with her so his love was only skin deep apparently well at least he, that's what he thought at first but after a while of course like i said depending on how you know which ending you got 
he does come around eventually, but that still doesn't uh, uh, change things, you know? Because he still made her suffer. She still suffered. And uh, I believe, and if I'm correct, she still died in the end. Wounds, mental and physical. I, what's it say? Something about hip service medals? His service medals. No war, focus on the art and finishing the painting. The author of the winning essay will receive an opportunity to write the book on the subject in our lighthouse, accommodated especially for this purpose. That's interesting. I didn't even read the first part, which is the something agency invites all interested in writers to submit their essays concerning the life and work of one of the most mysterious and tragic figures in the history of modern art submissions will be open until... Huh. So, this is, uh, it's... From what I read, this is its own little game. It's like a remake slash original. It's confusing, I know. <laughs> so, it's it's a mixture of, uh, of the first and the second. Mm -hmm. Whole lighthouse is at your disposal. My ass. Right? <laughs> but, um. I'm not sure how that's incorporated. I'm how do an you... adult, Mama. Crippled or not, I can take care of myself now. It's time for you to focus on yourself. I can't wait to read that book. Love you. Yeah, I'm not sure how they're gonna incorporate that. Cause like I said, it's a mixture of the of the two. Maybe gameplay wise, maybe that's what they meant. Is there a phone here? No. Can't get up there apparently. Our sources say four hundred and twenty eight entries have been submitted to the agency. The entry that won was surprising, to say the least. It wasn't a scholar who won it nor someone with proper education that would give him an understanding of life. It was a sensationalist, a horror writer, and... Okay, why is it doing that? Why is it only like reading one paragraph and not the other one? Many great talented Americans took part in the contest set up by the blank agency. The first edition of the event promised a great prize. A solitary, solitary stay in the lighthouse to focus on writing would be a dream come true for many. Seriously, what, what's going on? Did they, uh... Is that intentional? Because at this point, I'm starting to think it's intentional. And if it is, that's... That's annoying. <laughs> Hello? Who is it? Hello? I received the word that you came to the lighthouse. You find everything to your liking. Other than the doors being locked? Well, yeah, I guess. fast. Yeah, I'm here. I'm very pleased to hear it. Now, are you writing? What? You must understand, Mrs. It is imperative that you start your work as soon as possible. I will remind you that you signed a contract. Uh -huh. so it is very specific on the timeline. I, I would advise you abide by it. Goodbye. Okay. You ain't gotta be a dick about it. Just say there's, a con you know, in the contract. No, that says was so. a conversation I was too sober for. Right. Ooh, well, at least we got a date. We're in June of 1955. Not sure exactly what day it is, though. You know, I should pick up a flashlight. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, that's locked. Let me go back in my room real quickly. See if there's a flashlight. I'm not sure if my mind is playing tricks on me, but I thought I saw a flashlight. And the answer is yes. My mind is playing tricks on me. Wait, should I go ahead and just write now? Yeah, it looks like it's giving me the option. Oh, what the hell? It look, it sounded like it came from the window, but what the hell? Is something going on outside? Okay, it's just a broom. <laughs> the broom just fell over. That gave me a little scare. Look, I'm aware of the rat's presence, okay? But nothing can be done about it. The 
They've been on this island as long as anyone can remember. It's in our best interest to leave them be. Hmm. I think the rats were also something significant in the previous game. The more rats you saw, the uh, the darker the ending, I guess. Oh, you know what? I might be actually be thinking about uh, Dishonored. Because <laughs> every time you killed uh, people in that, you know, throughout the gameplay, more and more, more and more rats would appear. But of course, if you all you did was just knock them out stealthily, um, yeah, it wouldn't uh, attract any rats. Was this here? Dear, congratulations once again on winning our competition. Let us. Re okay. Yeah. No. Uh, Never mind. Okay. I thought I saw someone standing there. <laughs> uh, my... This game's already getting to me. Wait. Was it this? Is it the painting? Come on. All right, let's see. Might as well make some good use of the phone while I'm here. Right? <laughs> I wonder how fast 911 would re react if we call them. Hello? Hi, darling. I'm calling to let you know I'm here. Can you believe the agency already called to see if I was working? That's insane. Did you at least have time to settle in a bit? How's the lighthouse? Inspiring? Spooky? Spooky. Haunted? Definitely haunted. All of these yes. things. <laughs> I was just looking around and it's certainly something. How are you? Do the meds work? Meds for what? Don't you worry about me, Mama. This is your time to do your work. To live your life. Well, maybe you're right. I should probably get to it then. Bye, son. Love you. Love you too, Mama. <laughs> I thought I was her husband for a minute. But I was wrong. Okay, so let's see if we can go ahead and write. Or do we need to re interact with that painting again? Alright, now what are we writing about? Are we a journalist or are we writing a horror story? I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But Don't even we? for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. Every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Oscar Wilde. Okay, so I think I got myself a warning when something graphic is gonna be coming up. What's this? Is that a muzzle? Or what? Well, we can't step outside apparently. The hell? Oh, look at that. It's an abusive relationship. The mother's on the ground, probably knocked out after pleading. The husband doesn't give a damn, and the kids are like, ugh, great. Henry's at it again. And they call him Henry, not father, because Henry is a total dick, and he's not a real father. That, I'm pretty sure that's the story there, right? <laughs> ah! The door attacked me! <laughs> Ghost! We would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists, as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind and as such, decided not to act further than a prophylactic spray. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. 
Okay then. <laughs> so this guy is not only abusive, he's also very annoying. Alright. Are you also an alcoholic? Do you also like to take of the of the bottle? <laughs> Place is kind of a bit of a mess. I mean look at that. <laughs> You got papers just laying Some around? Some call him the new Caravaggio. Others compare him to Van Eyck. One awestruck critic who wished to remain unnamed went as far as to invoke, quote, the spirit of the great Leonardo. Anyway you slice it, the exhibition proved an immense success. Its distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of Renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiance looking stunning in her black gown, revealed to us exclusively that the couple are indeed expected. Okay, so it sounds like it is the artist from the first game. Huh, wonder why they have his face scratched off. Are they jealous? What do we have? Oh. I heard someone coming down the steps. But why do we have kids' toys in here? What's that? Wait, 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 wait. What the hell is this? A collar? Oh, we did find a muzzle, so I guess we have a dog somewhere around here, right? I'm sorry for yesterday. You were right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me, it's about her. Everything I do. I do with her best interest in mind. I guess I've always believed that in an imperfect world, it's worth it to strive for perfection. Ah, uh, now I'm starting to sound like my father. I will work on my temper though, promise. We'll talk later. Hmm, see, we are abusive. <laughs> he did mention his, uh, his anger issues. Superior old bourbon whiskey. He is an alcoholic. <laughs> Although for them, it's just another day with a bottle in hand. I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked. Although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Damn, we are a dick. Oh. I guess... is this our office? Nope, this is the basement. Unless our office is in the basement. Alright, what's down here? Oh! Damn rats! You know what would help? Is if you got rid of all of this junk. Why do you even have this stuff? Seriously. You a hoarder? Are you an alcoholic and a hoarder? Is that it? You're an alcoholic abusive hoarder? <laughs> I don't know. I feel very feisty right now. Why is that? I wonder who that's supposed to be. Nero? <laughs> what else is down here? More rats and more... What the hell? Okay. Physics is broken in this world because that thing is standing just by the... By a hair. <laughs> oh, we got a note. Report card reading C D F C writing communication D B C D Mathematics. Oh, not doing so well in mathematics. Hey, they're doing somewhat decent in science and health, so that's good. Social science. Eh. Art and music. Physical education excuse from class. Oh, okay, so they're the artsy kind. They like to express themselves. Okay, not bad with that. It's a shame they're doing, not doing too well in the other subjects. Something they should probably work on in the future, you know? You gotta be somewhat well-rounded. At least not be failing. <laughs> I think I'll be, if I had a kid, I'm pretty sure I'd be okay as long as they had like a C. Or a B, you know, C's and B's. But if I had a D, uh, yeah, it's definitely time to uh, kick it up a notch. Just don't make him fall, you know, fail. At least get him through. I, I think that's fair enough to ask of a child, right? 
Because not every child is different. Not everyone learns the same. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done. Before you go to sleep. Ooh, we got ourselves an angry wife. But of course she's angry. We're abusive. We're an alcoholic abusive hoarder. <laughs> Been working all night. Don't wake me up. Can we go in? Oh, I think this is our bed. And that's our broken mirror. This, uh, I guess for our wife's perfume. The long-awaited opening of the Galactic Department store turned into hell on Earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Ronald Sheffield, has so far declined the comment on today's tragic events. Hmm. You know, I'm going to have to go back and look at exactly who it was that I was playing in the first game. Because this all sounds like it's related to that. Just from a... We're just having a different experience from that, from that man. Oh, get back out of here. There we go. Might not be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredibly talented, multi-instrumentalist gave an astounding performance last night, winning over even the most ardent naysayers. Quote, She was simply astounding. I haven't seen such passion, energy, and skill in years. Stated famed pianist Daniel Richter. He was not alone in his praise. It seems even Anthony Giles, one of its harshest critics, has finally seen the light. Giles had previously made disparaging comments about the artist, stating, quote, there's more to performing music than enthusiasm in a pretty face. When asked if after witnessing last night's performance, he regrets these words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said, yes. We caught up with the star. Hmm. Yeah, it really does seem more and more likely that we are living around the same time period as the, uh, the first game, Roller Bandage, sterilized. Is it sterilized if it's just kind of laying there? Nice cane. Sorry, couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. I love you. Alrighty, well then. What's this? A ring? Oh. I guess we pissed off the wife. She took the ring off. <laughs> All right, now where's our office? Okay, not that one, obviously. Hmm. Oh. Ah! Whew. Okay. <laughs> it's just the thunder. It's just the thunder. <laughs> that got me. Oh, this must be our office. Oh, we got a lot of teacups here. Let's see, got some books and uh, pictures, I guess. I don't know. For decorations, that's uh, definitely interesting. But then again, this is whatever year this is. Uh, definitely the time of telephones. <laughs> So somewhere in the 1800s, I don't really fully recall when telephones were invented. Ooh, nice. We're ready for a duel. <laughs> Just gotta get the gunpowder and the bullet and a person to duel with. <laughs> Painting. Huh. Oh, there's my key. I found the key! Why do we have two offices, by the way? Why can't we just do it in one? 
What's that say? You promised. What? I'm sorry, you and me let something... Yep. I can't pick up the plate, so... Damn it. Red Riding Hood. Oh, it's a bad one. Where he's the grandmother, and then her. Well, alrighty then. Yeah, there's like different versions of Red Riding Hood. Uh, there's that one. There's also the one where the uh, the woodsman comes in and kills them uh, before or after he gets a little red. Let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? Yes, yes we have. I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I've agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For all time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task. Because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please, get your shit together. Okay, so we got some dark thoughts, and we're an artist. Okay, so we're both artists. <laughs> well, the other one's a painter. Me, I'm just doing children books illustrations. That's still pretty cool. That, uh... The wind blew that open. That, that's right. There must be a draft in this ha old house. Should definitely hire a handyman. You know, get that checked out. Uh, are those cigarettes? Oh no, they're crowns. God, the rain is becoming really, really loud. I barely heard it talk. Pink. Why not? Come on, man. That's your daughter's imagination. If that's what she wants to draw, let her draw it. Looks like mommy sat in that photo. I mean, in a drawing. Ugh. Okay, nothing there. Panda! Does this say anything? Uh, it says... Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh, death. That's the only thing I can I can read is that death. Well, great. Now we're traumatizing our own daughter. Well, it looks like we have two daughters. All right. Well, we got our key, so let's head on down to the office. But I'm questioning where the hell is everyone? And are we sleeping in separate beds? Have I checked in here? <laughs> it works! The toilet works! Alright, I don't think I walked in here. How the hell did they fuck up the length? What is that? I Achilles prosthetics? Below knee prosthesis. Are we wearing a fake leg? Okay, so he's in pain, and that's why he's a douche. Oh. Oh, I guess that doesn't matter if I click that or not. Oh, come on. Who left the water running? Why can't I turn it off? Ugh. I guess we have the money to afford to spend that water. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, nope. This is definitely like the first one. No, this is private. What is it, a diary? Ooh, someone's getting bullied. Wait a minute. 
What if this is just the retail on the first game then? I gotta look that up again after this is over. Ah, damn it, come on. Ah, of course. Get it right this time. Okay, I'm definitely being convinced that we're... We're the dad in the first game. Oh, good. The rain is calming down a little bit. Is someone here? Nope. Okay. I thought I heard footsteps. Lost. You deserve it. Finish it. Is, is someone here? Alright, I'm pretty sure those are gonna open up as that doesn't look right. Alright, do we need do we need to head back outside? Two souls. So passionate. So talented and yet they wanted to build something so ordinary. Oh, yep. <laughs> a home, a wife, a family. Peaceful life. Betrayal of everything that made them both artists. And yet, they clung to it. Save the date. Request the pleasure of your company to celebrate their wedding on Saturday. The 9th of June at St. Luke's Chapel at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And of course, we don't have a name. That won't be shown until probably towards the end. So yeah, basically we are living, uh, replaying this first game. We are truly thrilled to hear that you accepted our humble proposition. After discussing dates with my colleague, we find this date the best time to open the exhibition. We need time to set everything up. Getting a piano to our gallery will be no small feat. Okay. So, oh, come on. Just out of reach. Ow! Damn it! Okay. Well, I was gonna close that, but thank you to the ghosties. <laughs> uh, the picture of Dorian Gray. Now, this is interesting. I think they included that in the first in the first game as well. Uh, if you don't know about Dorian Gray, then I suggest you highly read that book. But just a quick little synopsis. If I'm correctly, it has been years, like high school, a long time ago for me. <laughs> well, since I read it, basically it's um, this man wanted to uh, painted. They don't understand what it takes to make a good painting. Uh huh. The work doesn't start with the brush. It's like family doesn't start with marriage. It starts with canvas. What? No, it doesn't. Anyway, Dorian Gray. Uh, real quickly. Uh, <laughs> man made a portrait of himself, so, and then, like, somehow it became magical to the point where he uh, he could live on forever. But in, in, anything, anything bad that could have happened to him or should have happened to him uh, became, uh, was reflected on the painting. So he basically became immortal, but like I said, all the illnesses and all, all the pain he could have gone, he should have gone through, or could have gone through, was then reflected on the painting. Uh, it's either that one or the other one where the painting becomes alive, and slowly, and they slowly switch uh, roles, you know, where the painting itself goes out, lives his life because he wants to be his own person. But Dorian is slowly, his life force is slowly being ebbed away because of his, uh, his painting. It's one of those two. I can't fully remember. What is this? A castle? Did we try to draw a castle? It's a horse. Can I crouch? I can't crouch. Okay, never mind. But there was no crouching allowed in this game. Right? Okay, yeah, no. Making sure. 
All right, so we are, it's a find it game. Oh, first steps is the hardest. I can't remember the last time I wore these. The last time I could move freely. Yep. It's got a wooden foot. <laughs> Anything here? Okay, so it is basically like the first game. We have to go through his hallucinations of his own house and find these little clues that tell the story. Okay, gotta find a key. There's gotta be a key around here somewhere. But where? Where would I find a key? Okay, maybe it's... Oh, wait. Okay. Are we going through Narnia? Is this the wardrobe that leads me to Narnia? <laughs> and of course, that's locked. Okay. Oh, damn. So dark. And he doesn't even have a flashlight on. What's this? The key! Oh! Is this a parallel room? Oh, like I said, he's having hallucinations. Probably from the alcohol and the drugs. <laughs> now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm pretty sure he was saying lovingly, but to us, it sounds creepy as hell. So, <laughs> never forget. Forget what, my man? Well, clearly he forgot something because he's going through this weird hallucination. Why is there sand coming from this painting? Oh, from those ladies. The hell? Hello? Oh! The painting fell. Oh! We're getting pieces of it. Alright, so that's the image next to the first one we picked up. Great! Now I gotta listen to everything and make sure I don't miss a thing. Because if something falls and there's more hiding stuff in the back of it, I have to take a look. Alright, who dragged the body through the paint? <laughs> oh, that's a lovely lady. She's got a pretty dress. <laughs> and that's a pretty horse. Alright, more books. There's always books. In oh, wow. What the hell? Did we just fall through the floor? Oh, this dude. This guy's painting was interesting. There were soft portraits of himself. Um, I mainly remember him because of this big red turban he wore on his head. I don't I remember his name. I have the music for all the paintings now. I'm going to play it for you this evening. You are going to love it. Yeah, but this guy, this guy was very interesting. Again, these are this is information I haven't used or haven't needed to know and forever. That, although that one's more of my college years. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all I remember from, from from art and when it comes to paintings is that it really focuses more on how it makes you feel. And of course, there's different versions of... Okay. Well, that made me feel like I shit my pants. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I should have worn the brown pants. Must be sharper, sharper. For what, man? To cut your beard? All right. But things like that happen. You have to go back and make sure what has changed. Yeah, see, the pain is no longer there. I don't remember this best though. Ugh. I think this is the one thing I actually didn't like too much about the game when I first played it was the fact that I had to constantly go back when things like that would happen. Because, I don't know, I'm more of a keep moving forward kind of guy. It's almost bleeding. And, uh, <laughs> and not really going back. Sorry I haven't written in a while. I've been swarmed with work. I gotta tell you, your last letter was troubling, to say the least. 
I just can't believe she would set fire to your old paintings. Why would she do that? The lady in black especially? That was your tribute to her, wasn't it? I don't know what to tell you except to get her some professional help pronto. You could probably talk to someone as well. With all that's happened, I'm sure it would do you some good. I probably don't need to tell you that the buyer was sorely disappointed with the news. The new pieces just aren't selling as well as the classics. Anyway, I'll keep looking. You just hang in there and focus on your work. I know you still have it in you. I believe in you. Okay, so one good thing about living in today's state is that back then, if your wife did something that the man didn't like, uh, nowadays you can talk about it. Of course, you know, women have a voice. They've always had a voice. She will break you. You can't fight her. Okay. Um, they always had a voice. The problem was that men were very oppressive back then. You know, everything was backwards. Everyone had a, a role that they knew that should be... That, you know, that person's role is 100% true. Hey, little ready. And I just realized at the bottom right corner, it gives me how many pages I need to collect before I get back to the painting. I need to find three more. <laughs> But anyway, what I was trying to say is that, uh, yeah, you, uh, if a woman said something out of line that a man didn't like, they would, uh, they would call him crazy and then, yeah, they would go away for a little bit or for forever. Who knows? That's, uh, is that a possum? Is it a possum playing possum? <laughs> That's a kitty cat. And okay, that was not expected. <laughs> Don't be scared. It's just a book, Bertie. That kind of looks cool, though. Alright, and who's Bertie? Is that his nickname for his wife? Move the mouse left, right to choose a cylinder. Oh, damn, I don't know the damn code. I gotta look for it then. Let's see. If I was a code... Oh, you know what? It's this. Okay, so that's six... Nine... There's gotta... Oh, here it is. Six, nine, four. Look closer. Oh, okay, for a moment I thought I was calling me a loser. <laughs> and I am. I will not deny it. Six. Nine. Four. Haha! -ha. Easy peasy. <laughs> These hallucinations didn't make it difficult. No sorry. Alright. Uh is there an exit or do I just go back to the first door? In the meantime, while I try to look for the exit. No matter what we did, the fireplace just wasn't enough to warm this room. Yeah, interesting fact. It does not make the room warmer. What it does is actually absorb the heat in the surrounding area. So it makes the rest of the room cold. And only in the immediate area of the fire does it make it warm. So, not the best thing to have. This is fine. This is good. The, these are great conditions. I can finish it. I can. I will. I need to. For all our sakes. For our family. Okay. For a family? Or just for you? Go on! Tip the scales! Oh. Yeah. He sees it one way. She sees it a different way. It sounds like the guy didn't pay much attention to his family. I mean, I get it. He, For him, he, he believes he's doing the right thing. But sometimes... When you're doing the right thing, you unintentionally neglect those around you. Which color should I choose? Green? Okay. Oh, it's a fire. Okay, nothing from there I need to pick up. The green of her eyes. The red of my paint. 
What's this? Okay, we're just putting it back up. It's a cute little house. <laughs> I see the kids were playing around here. That's supposed to be a picture of us. But it's all scratched out. Scraps of love. Find a memento of your family. Yeah, but where are the girls? It's only the wife there. Shapeless dreams. I'm hoping I get I find everything. Cause I wanna get the good ending for this gameplay. Can you hear her? Yes, yes I can. She's crying. Why is she crying? Wanderer, take a thousand steps. I had the most beautiful dream last night. I dreamt he came to me, embraced me, loved me, as he once did. But we both know that while I dreamed my silly little dream, it was you. It was you he really lusted for. Wait, who's she talking about? Oh, who was he lusting towards? Her body? Is that what she's trying to imply? It wasn't her, as in the person that she is, but her body. She will break you. Oh, of course, that's locked. Don't worry. You're not alone. Perfect relationships may look great on the silver screen, but the rest of us mortals have to face the simple truth. Nobody's perfect. And you know what? That's fine. In fact, Many loving couples struggle with day-to-day -day life in a relationship. This does not make them any less special. It just takes some work. And we're here to help. Our consultants, all trained experts in their field, will help you identify the source of your troubles and deal with it at your own pace. Whether it's simple miscommunication, money problems, or conflicting personalities, where there's a problem, there's always a solution. And remember, it's never too late. Yep. The, the key, I believe, in a relationship is that you're constantly wanting to be in that relationship. I think we should drop the Takata here. People won't be able to concentrate on anything but your music. It's about our family, after all. About both of us. I'm sure Thomas would agree with me. Well, Tommy doesn't live here, okay? Your wife does. So it really should be the choice between the two of you, not anybody else's. Yeah, this guy is, uh... I'm pretty sure just like in the first game, something happened to his wife that made him fall out of... Well, I wouldn't say out of love. It's just more like he doesn't appreciate her as much as he should have. I have a new set. Less flashy this time. You were right. It works better. I can't wait for this opening. I've never dreamed of making art together with you. Here we are, and it's all I could have wanted. Oh, they had a dream together. And then he fucked it up. <laughs> I guess we'll find out why eventually when we get to that point. Like I said, this is one of those things where you have to like find clues everywhere you go so you can find out what happened what what the story is and all of this wait okay that's is that gonna fall I need a light switch or something I can the hell am I missing something I feel like I'm missing something there should be something more in here uh <laughs> like I said, I want to get a good ending in this game. Because I want to make sure this family, you know, reaches an understanding where they can find happiness again. Because that was kind of the whole point in the first game, too, was like, the guy loved his wife, but at the same time, after the accident, he just didn't care. What the hell? Wait a minute. Are we the subject? Is 
So I see the back, but... Oh! There's a door! Oh, okay! <laughs> ah, and I can't open it! Damn it! Okay, there's gotta be another clue then. Hey, that actually stayed in place. <gasps> the key! Alright. Alright, I got the key. Damn, that's a good minute. That's a good puzzle right there. Jesus. <laughs> I was about to try to walk backwards out of there. Like, I, I was taking forever. <laughs> but I'm glad I found it. I'm glad I finally figured it out. So I'm like, it's got to mean How something. How can two people who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart? My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one veiled painting after another. He won't even sleep with me anymore. I can tell he's disgusted by me. The look he gave me the other day. That pathetic, hurtful look. A combination of shame, guilt, and repulsion. <laughs> I've come to realize that I've become a monster in my husband's eyes. It feels like nothing a woman should ever experience. Still, being the good wife that I am, I decided to realize my husband's fantasy. If he thinks me a monster, I will sure as hell act the part. Okay, well... I don't know how, how that would feel to be... To know and be looked on by your partner and you notice that they are repulsed by you. I have no idea how that would feel, but I would think you wouldn't want to try to make it worse by, you know, trying to pretend to play the part. Yeah. These are children's feet. What was it again? Did they put the painting up? Is that it? Looks like a painting of that. Yeah, maybe not. But... I don't, I'm not sure she chose the right, that was the right decision to, to choose, you know? Because, it's out, I mean, I don't know. Watch him drown. Huh? Is there some? Dear sir or madam, we must kindly, albeit strongly, urge you to keep your voices down during the night. Noise complaint. The marital problems, while regrettable, are a private matter and should remain that way. They are certainly of no concern to us and especially our children. Please, consider that not everyone is a freelance artist. Some of us have to get up early and work for a living. We need our sleep. We must also warn you that if things continue the way they are now, we will be forced to call the police. Oh, great. We've been very loud. We've been very vocal about our problems, apparently. <laughs> oh, can't turn those on. My home is my castle. Locked inside, I am safe. From what? What is she... What is she trying to hide away from? I mean, obviously her husband can walk in and out, so it's not that safe. Especially since y'all keep fighting. I wonder why he's repulsed by her. Like... Why? Is there a reason? Going in circles. Okay. I was about to say, like, am I going in circles? This is the same room, just slightly different from the previous one. And look, there it is again. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing I'm looking for a missing item so I can put it in that altar. Uh, okay. 
I keep trying to crouch, thinking I'm gonna crouch, but there is no crouching in this. What fuels my passion? You know what? Oh, come on. Is that it? No, it's this. This is it. Do I need to go through this door, or can I go back? Wait. Oh, damn. It's one or the other. I don't think it matters, right? I'm gonna go with the tiny bottle. Is that it? Did I win the game? <laughs> no, of course not. Oh, it's a picture of us taking a stroll. Huh. Okay. I don't know what that's about. Do I... I'm not sh... <laughs> it's a fish. Poor thing. Oh god, the room's gonna be smelly at the end of this. And there's more fish in here. Ah! Oh. I hated it. Always felt as if it wasn't my hand that wrote the letters when using it. Oh, it's a hand. <laughs> That's cool. Nothing in there. Okay, come on. I need... I need to find that last piece of the painting. It's gotta be around here, right? It's gotta be. Okay, well, damn it. That's a lot of dead sea fish. And octopus. And that looks like death playing the fiddle for some dude. That's a uh, busy head. I don't know what the hell that is, but. It doesn't look good. <laughs> Man, someone just left the pile of fish in this office. Oh. Like, I clicked it. Okay, the light's on. That's better. Okay, now... Maybe something will appear to me. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just wasting time in here. What the hell? What was that? Out of water. Yes, the fish are out of water. Thank you for noticing that. But is that a clue? Does that tell me I need to interact with something? Okay, I don't know what the hell else I need to do here. Oh! Wait, this wasn't here. Jesus. See, this is, the, this is what I'm saying. Like, this is the thing I don't like about this game. Uh, is the fact that... I constantly have to go back... Just so I can go forward. And it's maddening. And I know that's the premise of the game. That's the whole point of this game. When, when you're trying to make progress... Uh, you go backwards. And it's... <sighs> Again, she's very beautiful. And I love the dress. Oh no, someone snapped the snack. Even though he's already dead. <laughs> okay, but either way, yeah, 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 like I was saying, it's, it's just very, very annoying. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? Oh, he saw her as a piece of In art. An unexpected experimental <laughs> streak. He saw her as a thing. Conservative endeavors. Thomas Caldwell hosted an extraordinary exhibition opening in his gallery. Quote, This is a great day for me and my wife, said in the opening speech. Quote, For us, this is not only an exhibition, this is how we want to live our life. Music accompanies my paintings just as she will accompany me in the future. It is rumored that after the exhibition, some kind of arrangement was set between Caldwell and. Oh, at least we got a name. 
Thomas Caldwell. Okay. All right, are we gonna get to our painting now? We got all the pieces. We have a responsibility. Finish it. I'm, I want to turn the lights on first. There we go. <laughs> Watch out. Wait, what? What did it say? I didn't. I didn't read that. Damn it. God, this place is a mess. She's close. Stay away. Watch out. Is there a ghost here? Is our wife dead? And we That's a lot of maggots. Oh. She sounds mad. <laughs> the hell? Is it coming from this room? Hey, this was in the first game. Anyone can paint on a linen canvas. I am not anyone. God, this guy has a big ass ego. No wonder his marriage is falling apart. Am I right? <laughs> Oh, okay. Looks like we're getting with them withdrawal symptoms. We're quick. We need more alcohol and pills. Ooh, the knife. First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact. And then... Carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Yeah, I was about to say that. Was, that looks like skin. Uh, hopefully not human skin. Figured you'd be up all night, so I made you a little treat. You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snored his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know. <gasps> In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. Aw. This must have been before they, the marriage started falling apart. <laughs> she really seems like a very sweet lady. It's a damn shame she married a, a, an abusive alcoholic slash hoarder. <laughs> Alright, looks like we made it. We made it out. Alright, let's get to our painting. Okay, I don't think there's anything new here. Hopefully there's nothing new here. Because I want to go ahead and just, uh... Get this painting going. Hate. Even now, loss. You deserve it. Finish it. Okay, that's what I read in the beginning. I thought it would tell me something different. Nope. Nope. Okay, still nothing there. Alright, let's go ahead and start. Ah, come on. There we go. Yes, yes. Paint. Wow. One brush stroke and it did all that? Damn, he's talented. This must be some sort of magic. Oh, look, one of them actually opened. Just like in the first game. What's it say? First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to... F Find a knife, not one of those red ones. It needed to be as sharp as razor, so I used razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Boost helped keep my hand steady. Oh, basically what he just said a while ago. First, I looked for. Oh, it must be sharper. That's the stuff we found in the in the kitchen. Past catches on. All right. Well, it looks like. Uh, oh wait, this is changed too. Nope, still the same thing. All right, well there you go. We have uh, we have the first piece of our painting, and if it's exactly like in the first layers of fear, we got five more to go through, just like that. Trying to go around and find all these pieces. Again, I'm definitely gonna be trying to find all of them, and I'm I am praying I get a, a happy ending because I believe every family needs a happy ending. Yes, we will always have troubles, but. As long as you want to be 
in your family as long as you want everyone to be happy along with you e even sometimes y'all can make each other miserable and hate one another from time to time the fact that y'all still want to stay together is a key factor in a relationship and that's what i believe um so if you want to see more of this see if maybe i'll be able to get this family together again no go ahead go ahead and uh subscribe and if you like this video go ahead and like too i would appreciate it as well until then i'll see you guys in the next one take care